subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! This is the night before we're due to fly. <sighs> Getting a little bit late. What time is it? About 20 to 12 at night. So I've just been doing the final kind of parking and stuff. So um, the usual kind of making sure everything's kind of all sorted. So we have, what have we got? Um, there's my bag there. This, all the clothes. That's all my bits and pieces there. I've just put some air freshener stuff in my shoes and my Birkenstocks for tomorrow on the plane. Hopefully Big Tommy is uh, all packed up. Excited to go. Um, just found out a couple of lads won't be making it. Um, uh, Constantine Janasia and Forsmark as well. They've just tested positive for COVID, which is um, a little bit gutting for them, obviously. But uh, hopefully Tom and I will get out there all safe and sound. We will be vlogging the flight so see how that goes we've managed to snag ourselves a little business class upgrade um, thanks to granite recruitment our good friend johnny mcgregor thank you very much mate much appreciated so i'm gonna get up to my bed spend one last night with me couscous and we shall see how the trip goes tomorrow so stay tuned for that bugs are all pretty much packed down there um, a couple more bits and pieces on my final breakfast before we go. Then we'll try and get one in the airport in Bress. Also, I've got to take this awesome award. So this is for, I don't know if you can read it. It's the Jimmy Pollock Personality of the Year Award. So it was the first one last year, which is pretty cool. The first kind of sports personality for World's Strongest Man of the Year Award last year. Um, obviously for those that don't know, Jimmy Pollock, World's Strongest Man legend, he's been around the, the kind of crew for, oh I don't know how long, Jesus, it's been, been ages. Um, so I got presented that award last year, which was pretty cool, pretty special. Um, his son Ross, special shout out to Ross, uh, an awesome guy. So, you know, people, that have kind of passed away, obviously. I, I think about that a lot um, in my kind of prep for for World's Strongest One. Obviously, Mam and now Douglas Edmonds, Doctor Douglas Edmonds, and Jimmy. Jimmy's always at the kind of forefront of my mind. He was a an absolute. Well, I don't even know the words to describe him. Just a just a great guy. One of those great kind of guys. Always up for a laugh. Always had you know, a big smile on his face and just seemed to be a great guy. So um, it was an honor to take that kind of trophy home last year. Um, so whoever wins it this year, I hope they hold it in the same kind of heights of I, as I kind of hold it. So special shout out to World's Strongest Man for doing that for, for Jimmy, that was awesome. So I'm gonna have my breakfast, then we're gonna go meet Tom. He's got to drop his car off in the garage. Um, so I think we're picking Tom up in about an hour and a half. And then that'll be that, then we're on our way. So stay tuned for the business class extravaganza. Here's the boys. Hi, hello. So that's us just arrived at Inverness Airport. We've got our bags all there. The wives are there looking happy as ever. Oh, they're so sad, I'm sad. Tom's not sad, Tom's buzzing. <laughs> so we're about to start our epic journey out to, where are we going? Miami. Uh, well, I'm world's strongest man, so. Tom's all nice and cosy looking. Look at him. So see if people want to see if I want to, uh, this is my disguise. Tom's an invisible man. Me, I'm just here ready to go. I got my socks and sandals on. Lovely jubbly. So we're gonna go inside, get checked in, and then we'll see you on the flight. So we're on the Inverness to Heathrow flight in an economy. I cannot wait to get the special treatment from Heathrow to Miami. Anyway, look where we are. Right guys, that's us just getting on the plane. Big Tommy's on the phone to the wife. Say hi Sinead. Say, say hi. <laughs> 
made it, so we had a little bit of a, a carry on um, in Inverness. Let me just phone you normally, right? The flight was brought early, an hour early, so we arrived there and they closed the gates. We managed to get there, a little bit sweaty. Um, what I want to see is if Tom's feet, sandals, can fit in the little compartment for your, that's your compartment there. Can they fit in? Yes. No. No, they can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> British Airways, um, wonder if mine can't. Mine are a measly size 12. Oh, they do perfectly. Look at that. There you go. Lovely. So, not too bad, Thomas. Just about right, it. Just about him. Decent. How's the business seat to sit in your thumb? It's not bad, that seat. No bad living the high life. Can we see a look at the boys? <laughs> There's the boys through there, look. <laughs> so I think our first point of call will be to get some food. See what food we can eat. So we're trying to eat every every one hour on the flight. See if that's possible. I'm gonna have a word with the uh, uh, chief stewardess or chief steward. See if they can accommodate Tom and our appetites. Obviously, we're quite hungry. Um, so yeah, we'll take it as it comes. Hopefully, we can get some food. Yes. And um, apparently, as well, Mr. Adam Bishop. I think he's further up the plane. I think he got uh, the penthouse suite. It was unavailable when Tom and I tried to book it. Um, and again, a special shout out to Johnny McGregor, uh, Granite Recruitment, for upgrading this. Thank you very much, kind sir. This most of my hand. Is there enough room for Tom's big mad legs? Yes. Do you feel comfortable? Yes, very comfortable. Do you have food off me and I'll be fine. Bolly. Oh, cheeky smile by Tommy. Obviously, rocking the spicy t shirts. Please keep buying them. Aye, aye. Five meals from Tom, I'm gonna raise them up. I'm gonna have some. Just keep pushing. Nailed it, Tommy boy. Oh. Right, we better close up. There's a guy coming. Better better do what we're told. See you there. First meal up. Would you call that a meal, Tom? I don't know. So we have a new chicken nut mix and two jugs of cranberry juice. Tom at the same. That park was actually a family park of nuts and Tom just ate in the winter so he's a hungry boy, hopefully we'll get some better food or some real food soon. Getting stuck in, he's got some tomato pasta pesto stuff. Um, in all honesty, I'm not that impressed if this is if this is business class food. I'm not that impressed. But what have we got? We've got um, cheeky little chicken curry. That's why Tom didn't want that, because he doesn't like the curries. Some salad, some puddings, a couple of cokes. We had to wake Tom up, because he was snoring too loud. Uh, the people behind him was complaining, so... <laughs> have you had it already? <laughs> right, so we're going to get stuck in. Finish your meals. So, uh, meal number two, thank you to the awesome stewardess who just got us a, an extra wee meal, much appreciated. Uh, British Airways are going up and up and up. So, we have the roast chicken. You enjoyed that, Tommy? Tom's engrossed in a movie. <laughs> Big Tom, he's buzzing. <laughs> Loving the dream. Just a roast chicken dinner. Um, which is looking quite nice actually. Excited to try that. So I think obviously with uh, the current COVID kind of situation, the meals of so the stewardess said the meals are kind of um, they aren't your traditional kind of business class, first class standard, which is completely understandable. But they're doing a great job, and uh, I'm actually really happy we're getting a second meal. So we're well fed. Eat this, and then move them on up. The, the stewardess said, oh, is there anything else we can do for you, sir? Tom said, um, can I have another meal, please? And he got it. Absolutely 
para el cine. Estoy en el rancho, en Where I'm about, I don't know, an hour and a half away from Miami. Um, so it's been good, it's been nice so far. I could probably speak as loud as I want, and I doubt that Tom would wake up. So we were just up speaking to Bish. Um, interesting chat with him about a couple of things I better not say. And then hopefully try and get some sleep, I guess. Perfect fit, Tom. Yeah, buddy. How are you feeling? Did you have a nice sleep? I've seen like three times. <laughs> yeah, that was your first business class experience. Huh? Very good. Would you want to do it again? Never going back to that poverty aisle over there. <laughs> Perfect fit, dude. Come on. How are you feeling, Tom? Tired, boys. Tired. <laughs> How many more fights? One. Where are we, where are we going to now? Uh, Tom. Yeah, buddy. We just said cheerio to the boys. They've got to get a. Uh, a car to um, Tampa, um, four hours in the car for them, kind of maybe a little bit jealous, wouldn't have mind just driving, it would have been easier. Airport's all nice and hot and sweaty, which is always fun. Anything else to say Tom? Hi Sinead. Hi Sinead. Yeah. You little suk. I just shout out to her. Suki. Suki suki suki. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, 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 guys. We're in the hotel finally. What a long day of travels it was. Right. So, well, the big long fight of business class was great, but then Miami, it all went deep downhill. My suitcase came. We've got our suitcases, so that's a bonus. Mine's still in, mine's safely in my room, which is. Uh, thankful for. I thought was. I thought actually. I thought it wasn't actually going to come. It was. Mine was like the last few to come out. So yeah. So we've just had our first test in World Strongest Man, uh, and they do it really wow. well. That was like. I'm sure that went and touched my brain. Now we have one more. We're just good. We're, We're gonna do another one. Again. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh god. Not as bad. This one is not as bad. As it goes far back, it's still unpleasant. I think, but not as bad. I'm making him cry. <laughs> Okay. You <laughs> <laughs> said that we're not going to give no mercy and cheese. <laughs> the ladies that were doing it, taking great delight, giggling and laughing. <laughs> An evil chuckle. Don't be, don't be worried, Tom, you'll be fine. You handled it like a trooper, Tom. Well done. <laughs> 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 oh. Nearly hit your lung. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the last one. Okay. This one goes on both sides, but not as far back, okay? Other side. All right. Awesome. Cheers. Was that good, Tom? That was, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> We are here, so we've got to wait. Um, I think this evening we'll get our first batch of results and get another test. We're going to be in quarantine. Yeah, we've got an Xbox. We've got plenty of stuff to keep us busy. We've got a menu. Or All I'm going to do is eat and get fat. Tur, fatter. <laughs> do you catch, catch up on what I missed yesterday? Yeah, we need to get those calories in. So Nathan's given us a plan today. So we're going to keep hydrated and yeah. chill out. The business class was good for me. Yeah, but we almost didn't get there because the. <laughs> We what? thought the flight was, was it like 11.25? 11 11.25 to party. Yeah, we uh, turned out about 9.45 and they said the flights, the boarding's all completed and the flight's about to take off, so jeez. So we were very lucky to get, get here actually. Um, so anyway, it's all good. Um, I think all the guys are here. I'm not sure, I think there's one, one of the ladies was saying that the, she had to uh, cancel a flight last night, so I don't know if that was one of the athletes or not. But we'll find out in due course, I'm, I'm sure. So, we're going to go and eat, get some breakfast. We'll vlog our little quarantine stint. Play some Xbox and uh, just uh, live the dream till we get our results back. Fingers crossed they're negative. <laughs> Praise little baby Jesus is negative. Goodbye. So, thank you for watching.
Stay safe, smile, stay spicy, and please keep ringing that little bell. Ding dong. Ding a ling ling. Ding ding. Yeah.